Hello everyone. So I'm at camp and I, I was really shocked when I got here because I, my whole adult life at least, I'm sure we camped in campgrounds when I was a kid, but for, a, for many years now I've been camping in, on like national forest and off of dirt roads or BLM land and trying to be as removed as possible and not be around people and uh, you know just be in the woods somewhere and have a lot of privacy so it was a bit of a culture shock to arrive in a campground where there's just no privacy and there's people everywhere and I was a little bit of a curmudgeon about it I will admit but after I like just had a moment to absorb and recognize that this is just a different experience. This is a new experience. And that's what this whole thing is. This is all like a learning curve. This is all a new experience. Uh, and this was an unexpected learning curve. I, but ultimately I am really grateful. I feel really safe. I'm surrounded by people like big families and lots of kids. Uh, and I think it's a good way to start out this first week when I'm going to be out in the field by myself uh, to not have that additional like concern of camping alone. Uh, so I think this will be ultimately really really good and I'm grateful for it <laughs> and I feel bad for just like that little moment of being like oh my gosh this is awful I'm never doing this again because maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll like this kind of camping. So the sun is setting. I went on a little walk uh, I found a spot that I think will be really nice for swimming, so I might do that on one of these days if I have some free time. Uh, my plan for tomorrow is to get up at 4, make a cup of coffee, and hit the road. Luckily, the gates here open at 4 a.m., so I'll be able to get out the gate. <laughs> I'll be able to get out of the campground uh, and hit the, the road and get to my first site. I only survey one site a day, but I'm going to stay out there for a couple of extra hours um, so that I can scout out some of my other sites and get a sense of where I, I should park and how to access them uh, and how far in I'll have to hike and where the best habitat is within my site so that I'm... Oh, sorry, I got distracted by the birds. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but for a moment I thought maybe it was a vermilion flycatcher, which is one of my favorites. Maybe it was. I'm not a, a birder, this is, but I'm learning. <laughs> There's bats flying around too. Hopefully I'll be able to fall asleep. I am a little bit amped. All right, I am in bed. It's like 8.15 maybe. I'm going to do a little reading and hopefully that will make me nice and sleepy and I'll fall asleep early and I'll wake up early naturally. It's a bit hot, so it's really good that I brought a sheet. So I have a sheet and then that little down blanket that I talked about in my first video for this new job series. So Hopefully if it gets cold that will be enough and I'll be really comfortable and there's some people walking by my camp. <laughs> Good night everyone.
Hello everyone, I am back from my very first survey and everything went really well except for a little hiccup in the beginning that definitely made me feel a little frustrated and anxious. Uh, so this morning I woke up at four, um, I slept really well, I fell asleep early, um, I made a cup of coffee and I headed out to my first site. Now, I earlier in the week, I actually came down here to scout out my sites and I put coordinates into Gaia maps and Google maps. And I also downloaded a bunch of offline maps so that no matter what the situation was, I would be able to somehow know where I was, where my site is, where camp is, where, you know, just to be able to navigate because I am offline out here. There's no service. So I was really prepared. But what is that saying? Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Something is always, there's always a little bit of a hiccup. First of all, the, the field maps app that we're supposed to be using for these surveys uh, is still in the test phase. It was supposed to be finished by Monday. It's now Wednesday. So we don't have access to all the online maps. And uh, well, we have access to the test maps and the test surveys, but we can't actually use it for our official surveying. So I had to do all of my survey spots in notes by this page. I was a lot more organized. I didn't know how it was going to look. So yeah, I got a little messy in the beginning, but then I had a system. I didn't mind that part of it. I love taking handwritten notes. I would always prefer to do that over anything else. So yeah, that was great. Uh, however, one of the things that went wrong this morning that made me a little bit late to my site um, that was very frustrating is my Google Maps kept trying to reroute me and take me back, take me into the town of Patagonia. And I don't know why it kept doing that. I had a waypoint set where my site was and it would like initially lay that map out and guide me there. And then suddenly it'd be like, we've found a better route. And it would give me a better route, which was always like to go in the opposite direction back to the town of Patagonia, which was really frustrating. So in, it took me a little while to catch on, unfortunately. Uh, I, I have a lot of faith in Google Maps generally. So maybe that was my mistake. Uh, and, and I just, but I knew, I was like, something isn't right. This is not, I, I figured Google had like a better sense of how to get to the site than I did. But I was just like, no, this is not the direction I'm supposed to be going in. I scouted these sites out. Yes, I'm coming from a different direction now. And so things do look a little different, but I'm pretty sure we're not going the right way. So I had to turn around uh, and then I found my site, no problem. Once once I realized where I was, I was like, oh yeah, I know exactly where I am. This is <laughs> this is where I go. But man, that was really frustrating. So I started to like, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes later than I would have liked to. Um, yeah, no cuckoos. I surveyed, I think 14 spots within my sites, 15 spots within my sites. The habitat didn't look very promising, to be honest, but I did the best I could. I found, I followed a, a drainage primarily that had the most tree diversity in hopes that that would be the best spot to find them if they are in this area. Uh, maybe they'll never be in this area, maybe they are in this area, and I just was in the wrong spots or these particular Cuckoos are really, really secretive. Uh, maybe they're not here yet. And once the rains start and the insects, the population of the insects start like skyrocketing, maybe they'll appear. I have to visit this site two more times uh, over the next two months. So. so that's my update. I'm gonna eat some food and then scout out some of my other sites so that I have a better sense of what how everything looks um 
and so that tomorrow I can start my survey at 5 a.m. scouting I definitely have a better sense of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and the day afterwards one of the sites I'm not very excited about <laughs> it's really steep and very forested so I don't like not being able to have a view I don't like not being able to see around me uh, and I don't like being kind of trapped down in a very narrow uh, ravine <laughs> so but I, I don't know, I just, that's just what it is. I'm gonna have to do it and just hope for safe travel. Uh, but anyways, the other sites look really great. And I just have to say that I am so impressed with Toad. So Toad is my 2003 Subaru Forester and she's amazing. She's such a trooper. Like I am, I am really impressed with how well she handles these roads and some of the spots have been a little bit tricky and I've definitely had to be very careful picking the right lines and you know just being very aware of what I was driving over and she just she just does it and it's incredible it does help that I have um, all-terrain tires which is really nice because I don't think I would feel as confident in in the street tires but the most part I'm really excited and she's a comfortable ride I have great visibility and I can sleep in the back which is really nice I haven't made it back to camp I, I was getting so tired all I wanted to do is lay in the hammock and I knew that if I went back to camp I would have no place to hang out because it's just all exposed in the sun and there's no place to put up a hammock and I'd have no privacy so I pulled over on the side of the road. There was this nice little spot that I might end up camping in at some point. Um, Cause it's, it's quite perfect actually. And it's not that far from my sights and it's not that far from the town of Patagonia either, which is nice. And there's lots of shade and I can hang up my hammock. <laughs> it feels so good. I've taken off my shoes. My little feet hurt pretty bad. So it feels good to just let them be free. And now I'm going to take a nap, maybe read a book, take my time going back to camp. Good night, everybody. Obviously not a very graceful diver, but it doesn't matter. That felt really good. I've been swimming around and just enjoying being here. This isn't a bad place to be camping after all. I'm actually very grateful and very happy to be here. <sighs> and it's nice to have all this time off in the evenings, in the afternoon, to like just, you know, go exploring. It's kind of like I've been paid to go on a vacation. <laughs> I feel very blessed.
I'm on kind of a gnarly bridge. <laughs> if I if I think about it too much, I'll actually get kind of like vertigo sort of thing. But it's really neat. <laughs> I just decided to go on another little walk before bedtime. Really? I don't know why they make it so much noise over there. Um, but I had a really nice day. I'm, I feel really uh, proud, I think, of what I have set out to do and what I'm doing. And it feels really good to be accomplishing something like this. And there goes a really big bird. Mm, cormorant. <laughs> cool. Uh, so beautiful. Aside from all the noise of like engines revving, it's really beautiful here. It's just to see all this water is really nice. I mean, look, look at this, the setting sun. Anyways, my goal is to get to bed even earlier tonight, wake up at four, not make coffee, go to the site and do my survey. And then another afternoon of scouting to check out some sites I have yet to visit. Uh, that I'll need to be visiting next week to survey. So anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye and good night. Thank you all for watching so much and for all your kind wishes and support. Take care.